boys now we are teaching you how to climb out of masters and we're running into a very old friend a very very good friend of mine fogged <laughs> we have closer as well on the team there are a lot of big names in this game playing in that high masters elo right now we got some uh, some really good players some really high, high talented players and we're gonna be teaching you guys how to climb out of masters elo now masters elo is probably one of the elos i played the most in in my life Masters, Grandmasters, High Diamond, Challenger, of course. Challenger is probably the most, but I would say that Masters is something I'm very comfortable with, very confident with, and I think the difference between Masters and Grandmaster players is the focus, and a lot of it has to do also with just some more punishing knowledge, like just understanding a lot more about how composition works. I, I feel like a lot of Master players have really good understanding of the game, but not exactly composition. So understanding which champs to play off of, which champs not to play off of, you know, your strengths and weaknesses per comp. So right now, be able to notice that, you know, to go blue cane here, this is a pretty rough comp to go either red or blue, but I, I find I can have a lot more impact with blue than I can with red. So I'll be able to play off this side lane of Kali. See, normally in high elo, the way that you choose your form is actually based off of who you could play off of in a fight or a skirmish. So are you gonna choose to fight a, a team fight? Or are you gonna look to fight a skirmish, you know? Like a 1v1 or a 5v5. If you're gonna look to fight 5v5s, like more of a front to back composition, then typically you would want to look to play red cane. If you're gonna look to play more in side lanes or for picks, then that is where blue cane works. So having strong side laners or enemies having strong side laners that you can handle really quick is typically your go to for one to go blue or red. So in high elo, you actually don't really focus on if they have more range or melee which is kind of funny because in low elo that's all that really matters that's all that really matters but in this elo we are just simply focusing on you know do i want to play in the side lane or do i want to play in the river you know kind of just understanding which areas you are the most likely to prevail you know? and also i want to make sure that i'm avoiding the elise so far it's level three so i'm gonna start pinging out yeah i care level three at least might look for some aggression here Calculating the aggression. It's a lot harder to track junglers because a lot of the times they hide their path. We're gonna look for three camps to know a gang so far. Didn't find a thing. Because she's not going bot right now, it means that she's probably around top side right now. I look to gank that mid. Look at how the uh, Rise is playing. He's kind of playing in a way to bait. Gonna be very cautious. Looks like the enemy sub is Alicopter as well. Kind of funny. Run into Alicopter and Fogged on the same team. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna run into a lot of the big dogs when you're up here. And if you are, well then, make sure you're nice and having fun. Because there's a lot of nice, cool people in high elo. Oh, there's at least top side. You can cheat show her ugly face eventually. No, off no offense, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not saying like IRL, I mean I hate spiders, so I think she's a yucky to look at. We click on her, so she did start her blue. She didn't do her red yet, so she did all of her blue side, probably farmed maybe one raptor camp. I wanted that top side, so I'm gonna get some vision deep on the bot side. They're gonna keep shoving this wave, and if they do, we could look for here is uh, maybe a dive. I'm gonna set up deep vision at the moment. They back up here, and maybe they just back up. Dive angle, it's possible. Okay, she's reset, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I, I'm, just, I'm just setting up vision anyway. First reset, I don't really like to get my uh, my tier. I like to get double longsword here. Get control ward. We're gonna path top to bot again. Lisa's probably gonna be staying around top side for a little bit longer here. I'm just gonna keep pinging around. Because until she shows on that bot side vision, that means that she's around top side. What she could be doing, it's usually gonna be leaning more towards ganking because Elise is a super high aggressive jungler. She does not play to farm often. So she'll be looking to gank. Looking more for plays like that. I don't know if I just saw the scuttle. I think I did. We'll see right now in a couple seconds. Uh, comes back to that. Yeah, I mean, if he wants to play for the dive, I'm, I'm ready, but. Oh, the scuttle is there, what? There's the Elise. As foretold. I'll hold on to my E here. Back over to the scuttle herself. Good look for her right here. Gonna walk into me. Oh no, bro! I missed my W. I'm trolling. It's fine. Yeah, we can't look to dive top because Elise is there. 
She has sword boots anyway, so I don't really want to look to fight her. She's still vision on her bot side camp, so she's on a raptors right now. I'm gonna ping that out. We have some good vision set up for our mid. Have the river as well. Yeah, I had to like make sure that she was sweeping, so she was able to see me in that bush. Sweep does give vision of the enemies. You're walking in the bush, so. Both her bot side camps are up, so she might look like dive bot here soon. But she's not going for that top gank immediately, and it's making me think that she's around bot. Oh, there she is, there she is. Okay, so she has 33 CS. Probably a little bit more. Bit deeper pitch forward right there. Nice, that was huge. Nice. Flash forward. Take the kill. Sadly, I couldn't save him in time. Yeah, at least a turbo high mobility early on. Really hard to jungle against for a can. So you're going to start noticing a lot of, like, really difficult situations to kind of uh, unfold in front of you where, you know, you're not really able to match the early game. This is where Kane will start to actually seem like a hard champion because in the lower elos, he's pretty easy. There's not really much punishment, but when you're in these high elos, oh baby. Yeah, there's a lot that they could get done before you get your form. It's, a, it's not an easy game, but the thing is, is that you transition the game and you scale through your laners, through your team. It's a team game and you just do what you are most capable of doing. Yes. Isn't the least there. Try to get her low for the Akali at least. Get some orbs while I'm at it. Akali gets that, it's perfect. So the reason why I'm perfectly fine with dying there because Elise is a champion who kind of plays on like a ticking time bomb. Tick, 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 tick. And once it ticks down, it explodes. Yeah, if she's not able to like hard win the game early on, the game's over. Like win. And you can see this guy is playing really, really aggressive. So right now we just have to look to uh, get done what we can get done. I know this is teaching you how to get on a Masters, but there's actually a lot of high elo players in this game. But you have to think about it. When you're playing a Masters, you have, especially high Masters, climbing to Grand Masters, you pretty much have to get comfortable playing against like everyone at this point, I would say. You have to get comfortable playing with Grand Masters, Masters, Challengers, so. Sometimes you have to be willing to get out jungled, honestly. Sometimes even I will get out jungled. There's so much talented players. But the thing is, is that you're making sure that you're trying from start to finish. You're always coming up with good plans. And you're understanding how your champ works and you're playing towards how that champ works. Yeah, I definitely will go to the rift right here. Might look to rotate on me here. Yeah, I just want to fight that, uh, that Trinomir a little bit, get some orbs off him. I miss might come to me. I'm risking giving up my bot side camps here as well, which is kind of a kind of a bad thing to do, but not really given any other option. We actually might come to the rift. Yeah, I think they are. Oh, that's bad. I'm just gonna camp it. That's fine. You can't pick it up, so whatever. Honestly, as long as we're just denying it from them, we got the gold, it's fine. I don't really mind it. Alright. It's okay, you got 300 gold. True! And we got our bot side camps, so we didn't get invaded. Oh, nice. Oh, Akali's clean with it! Good stuff, boys. Yeah, this is definitely a game where I might want to get tonight. That way I can just free dive the Elise, not have to worry about her hitting me with the cocoon. Okay, it looks like Akali's gonna stay and catch that wave. Probably TP out sometime soon. Uh, Caitlyn's alone in lane. I kind of want to hover. 
play a little bit around her. Ash might be dying here. Yeah, I think she does. At full scent. I don't really think there's much I can do for her there. Yeah, you can see there's still a little bit of a hint of toxicity in GM. They're just smarter with it. They just get very passive aggressive. They'll like spam from you and just say like, uh, I guess the better Jung wins. Trying to deny the wave from coming. Uh, I had a feeling that Evelyn was there. Or not Evelyn, at least. Gotta hold the wave anyway. Yeah, I feel like there'd be a spider hanging around. Oh. Oh, good. Yeah, they're trying really hard to deny me from getting my form. So you can see that they're getting a lot smarter in this helo as well. Uh, the counterplay to that would just be to look elsewhere. Or try to catch them in between certain areas. So she's going to go back to her, her bot side camps. The only issue with camps like Elise is that they don't really need to ever go and CS. She can kind of just like bug in me, you know? She can just keep messing with me. So I really have to like just play to farm and look for things after I'm done farming and hope that she doesn't like keep cracking me the entire game. A little bit of hopium when you play against a champ like this. I mean, usually the way that you handle these problems is from the ground up. You don't really try to handle the Elise problem when she's 8 and 1. You try and handle it before she gets 8 and 1, but she got a lot of freebies this game. She's playing really, really well. A lot of junglers at this elo will play really well, so you have to be willing to kind of accept losing the early game. Almost every every game I lose the early game, but it's not really how Kane's designed to win the early game, you know? I gotta go here and just tank this. I always want to exit out towards the tower. Just being able to full send the rise. I know I had to invest everything for that. We traded like flash and whatnot. But just being able to full send. I'll be down there really fast. Because they have a police. Oh, that's not good. I'm trying to get my form and be fast here. That's so tragic. Oh my god. We're coming now. Yeah, because I'm against Elise, I want to make sure I'm getting a lot of mobility, so I'm just getting my 2-2 boots hurt really early on here. To go long. Nice, got the shutdown. And now we should be able to win. Let me look to see what I can get on the invade here. That's really like the main skill curve when you're playing as this high elo cane main is just getting your form. When you get your form, then you can start like making these aggressive plays and start taking over. We have some really, really smart players in the team. Like I said, when you're playing to get GM, playing a high master, you're going to be playing with a lot of big brains. So you kind of got to be on the same wavelength. Yeah, we're going to look to rush the dragon here. I think we just do it on spawn. I'm not going to lie to you. If we do it on spawn, we should be able to do it before at least can get here. And uh, that'll be good. I should have came and helped me, but it's fine. Might be a little bit scary now, but I think Cassante will help me out here. Perfect. Yeah, the only issue is Cassante is not going to be able to let go and catch top. We might lose that. Okay, Elise could be heading over to my top side right now and looking to take my top side camp. So when I go over there, I'm going to make sure to be using my E to kind of scout my way through. Not walking blindly. You never want to walk blindly, especially against a champ that can one shot you. If she was like two and one, she'd be able to one shot me. So she's nine and two, brother. But this is actually one of the best dragons for, you know, fight against a fed at least. Um, we don't have any vision now. She's kind of walking up, so I'm just going to do this because I want to make sure that we're catching that vision out. Okay. I don't see anyone with my E yet, so they'd have to run here pretty fast to catch me. I should be able to get this before Rise gets here. Now when they try and, like, set up the, uh, Rip. I mean, we know where the wards are. We can clear those out. That's good. I don't want to clear it because I want to get the scuttle white man. Fuck you, cares, okay. Thanks for donation. What's up? Chad Light donated three dollars. What's up? As a fellow metal fan, what are your thoughts on the Post Malone and Travis Barker Nirvana tribute? Oh, I did not see that. 
I mean, I like Boasty a lot, so that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Especially with Travis Parker. That guy's a legend. Oh, uh, let's see. I'll probably get Edge of Night here. What do you think of it? Do you like it? Edge of Night, just for the Elise. Get a pretty smooth reset here. Get some HP with some damage here. And we can try and play for that top side objective here. I have a level lead on her. Good. We have a little level lead on her. Poke this guy down here a little bit. Put some vision. Sante's kind of in a bit of a dicey pickle, isn't he? The ulti at least, just get them both low, because I know I'm not gonna be able to one shot the this to there. Oh, -hoo -hoo! that Kali's going in. Nice. Go ahead. I'm just waiting for my CDs to be back up before I can go back in the fight. I already looked to get this. I'm just gonna look to see if there's any for me to invade. Okay, nice. Try mobility. Nice. Kayla's gotta start hitting the mid tower. So yeah, you can see we're just able to kind of take over the game after Elise gives that shutdown. These fights are kind of crazy. Maybe catch her out here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Saw me. Must have been warded. Oh, I couldn't get my ulti off. Ah, well. I think they both die here, which is way more worth than me living. I, I could have lived if I played that better, though. It's the sad thing. I could have definitely lived, especially since I had flash up. There's so much potential for me to live there. But it, it was still a good fight. It was still a good situation. stuff good stuff I was able to keep my ult so that's also really nice and we also have the uh, rift still so we can definitely two towers bot maybe an inhib we're making a lot of progress with the shoving out mid there uh there's gonna be an elise coming so try and just help this guy out here yeah I can't look to one shot her my build isn't really looking to one shot especially since she just has more gold Usually if I have more gold than them, I'll build it like one shot, but if not, I'll look to just survive and get off as much as I can. Yeah, because sometimes it's more important about getting off than, um, get off your damage instead of, um, being able to have high damage but getting one shot, you know what I mean? That's what a lot of people don't realize. When you get to higher elo, you can't always build the same. You have to kind of, like, build to survive. So sometimes you'll see people get, like, stopwatch early on or buy GA, like, third item. It's because it's more important about like actually staying alive to do damage as opposed to just having damage if that makes sense yeah. and when i get my man immune that's uh, that's just a power spike everyone knows that that's a big power spike so have griff and so shadow side mid top oh uh, hady carry got cut off by at least it's worth okay Worth at least flash. Most are tilted. <laughs> he's not actually, I think he's just trolling. We'll do that all the time. Yeah, we'll look for some uh, big bomba plays. Oh, I deny. I gotta hold on to my ult here as well. Look to kill the Ramus. Wait for my E to come back up here. Oh man, I trolled that W. What was I gonna do anything to him anyway? Anything, maybe we should have went to the Baron. Nah, we need Caitlyn to cover Bop. That's fine, we don't need to get Baron right now. 
get that red. Kind of farm my camps here. So you see that the game's in high elo, as you notice when you get to Grandmaster. Every game has to be played out from start to finish. Every game you're gonna have to be playing out from start to finish, boys. You're gonna have to be focusing 24 7. Oh, that's just the way it is, boy. Okay, so we can actually send this rip bot here. And I will uh, look to make them plays. Put one blue orb there. Get another blue orb, put it right there. Double blue orb. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna shadow the uh, the Caitlyn. I'm gonna run straight to the enemy's camps instead of mine. Because when you're coming back, you always want to prioritize going towards their camps if you're in this setup. As opposed to going to my own camps. Oh no. It's Elise's hard focusing closer. Hey buddy, I'll handle her. I'll be the one. I got her for you. We got beef. I'm a failure. TSM kicked me. What does that mean? TSM kicked me? Is that like- <laughs> Dude, he's speaking in code! <laughs> Dante TPs the rift so it stays alive. Oh, really? <laughs> I know who it is. I know who it is now. Yeah, we went a little bit crazy on that dive. Which is pretty stupid. You shouldn't ever go that crazy. Oi! Yeesh. You might look to do the Baron here. Yeah, I was pretty toxic to this guy back in the day. I'm not gonna lie to you. I used to be really toxic to a lot of people in high elo. That's not who I am though anymore. I've decided to become a reformed man. I'm not actually a vegetarian. I, I just was saying that because I was basically saying that I'm, I don't get into beef issues with people anymore. Yeah. I am definitely a reformed individual now. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Yeah, at this point, I just kind of want to, like, focus the targets that I can get on. Rise would be a huge one. Damage off there before. Wait, what? I wasn't tanking? My bad. I thought I was tanking that. Put the Baron here. I should just get the mid in him. That's fine. The Knight's coming up in like 15. She wasted the cocoon. Walk it up so she can't one shot my Caitlyn here. Yeah, she's been eyeballing my Caitlyn since the game started, so I'm just making sure that she can't do that. Alright, we get the dragon. Good stuff, good stuff here, boys. Just want to full send them. Alright. I don't have my last whisper at the moment, but because they are very over extended, we got one free pick as well. We can transition this into the Baron. Oh, we can just look to end mid, to be honest. 
put a control word just so we have vision of uh, Elise at all times. Yeah, too bad Akali couldn't get the damage off there. That was actually going to be good. We got to back up and play towards the Vera now. Not a bad idea to go for that play, but at the same time, it's fun. Oy, 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 oy. Get that mad Trindamir away from me. Use the E to heal, and we live in, boys. We live in. Go. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. That's scary. All right, we got two inips pressuring, so this is just either free Baron or free end. Got no HP. I gotta wait for the red buffs to stay in here. Huh. Get him! <laughs> and GG boys I hope all of you climb out of Masters Elo I look forward to seeing you boys in Grandmasters thank you so much for hanging out with me thanks for watching appreciate the support be sure to drop a like and a sub now you too